graces and other birds is past the Toy Story. Yay! Amazing! Graces! Another person has passed for Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Amazing! Graces! Another person has passed for Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. Yeah, baby. Okay, so I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy's fast food toy story. And so, for today, boy have I got a toy for you. It's something very special because our toy for today is none other than Tan -ta -da -da. <laughs> Raggedy Ann. Okay, so all of us are very familiar. Yeah, I suppose these are creations by Let me get that correct uh, by Johnny Grew. Okay, it started off as a, as a book a storybook for children and it became uh, very successful. This is a uh, ragdoll uh, From a long long time ago, like I said uh, authored by Johnny Grew and it's composed by Raggedy Ann and there's also this uh, camel and uh, I forgot the name of the camel and then or also the little boy Raggedy is called Raggedy Ann and I think I do have a couple of those books by Johnny Gru about the adventures and the misadventures of Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Ann Okay, and then I do remember that come Christmas there are also these television specials the featuring Raggedy Ann and this Toy Store, how they come to life. So long before Toy Story, <laughs> there were already stories about toys coming to life, like in the adventures of Raggedy Ann and Andy. Okay, they come to life when people are not looking, uh, they have these wonderful adventures <laughs> about them rescuing all the other toys that might have. Uh, Gotten into a lot of mess. <laughs> okay, so this particular toy, look at it, it's so cute. It's uh, the dress is so very fitting, the fitting raggedy. But the hair is a little bit brown. Normally we would see raggedy and as having a red yarn for her hair, but this is not the less uh, very faithful to how raggedy and would have been um, illustrated, would, would have been um, interpreted by Johnny Gru in most of his works. And then what's so uh, important about the toy, just to authenticate it, is that when you look inside, there is the heart. <laughs> There's always the heart that says, I love you, in the, uh, in the body of Raggedy Ann. <laughs> okay, that's one way of actually um, authenticating it. I suppose the toy, the Tiger Babies, got the, took their inspiration from Raggedy Ann about the heart. <laughs> Because the the Thai Beauty Babies would now have a tag, um, a heart, and it has the Thai logo there as a certificate of authentication. Well, just to make sure that uh, what you have is a merchandise or a toy that is actually authentic. <laughs> the same goes with Raggedy Ann dolls. There has to be a heart shape. Uh, I love you inside there. Uh, Body. Okay, and then of course the staple there would be the striped red and white socks of Raggedy Ann. Uh, so much uh, reminiscent of uh, Ronald McDonald socks as well. And then um, yeah, the shoes, black shoes, and everything else is basically made of uh, rags or Raggedy. <laughs> this is a plush doll, and uh, made uh, very, uh, very wonderfully by applause. The company that made this Raggedy Ann doll is applause. Okay, isn't it cute? Wonderful toy. I guess we should put it in a glass encasement so that, uh, I mean, um, yeah, I could see a couple of glass things <laughs> already accumulating. But if you put it in a glass encasement and then have it sit down like this, it uh, would stay in its pristine condition for as long as it is protected by uh, by a glass encasement. Maybe probably a large uh, <laughs> jar like this one, but I don't think it will fit in this. <laughs> or you can actually um, ask, uh, there are a lot of uh, carpenters here who can actually make cabinets, uh, especially made for this size uh, 
<laughs> now I must say this is just an amazing grace so once again guys let's try to be thankful to God for all the amazing grace that come to our lives be they in the form of a raggedy and uh, dal brought to us by applause a wonderful and great addition to my first story collection and also be thankful for Johnny Gruel for coming up with these wonderful characters <laughs> yeah in the form of raggedy and raggedy and the camel was it a camel or a horse? Anyway, sort of forgot. Maybe it's high time for me to review all of these wonderful children's books created by Johnny Gruel. And they are wonderful inspirations. I mean, uh, a lot of kids would definitely find uh, amusement and a lot of entertainment <laughs> in these wonderful storybooks as well as the television uh, versions of Friday and Okay, or basically guys, let's be thankful for every amazing grace, be they small or big or be, uh, be they simply insignificant or the truly eventful ones or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly and I thank you guys for all the tuning in the first is fast food toy story or non fast food toy story thank you to the new subscribers please keep them coming because we still have a lot more Percy's fast food toy stories up my sleeves okay so until the next one bye bye